Hi everyone, um, so probably by now most of you might have heard the news that um, Anita and I have sold the IP for Rory's Story Cubes to Asmodee in France. Um, it's been a pretty epic kind of month or two as we've worked this all out and it's been really tough not saying anything to anyone, but such is the nature of NDAs. So we're kind of really glad to be on the other side and able to kind of explain what's going on because we know like we're in the middle of a Kickstarter and people are going to be asking how does this impact things. So just to explain, um, we've sold the IP for Rory Story Cubes um, to Asmodee, um, so they are the complete owners of it now, but we'll still be on board, um, both the Creativity Hub and myself, for the next three years as essentially kind of consultants, brand guardians, helping with um, product development and teaching their teams you know why we care about Rory Story Cube so much and trying to pass some of that kind of passion and deep understanding onto them. So we're not going anywhere, we're still going to be involved. Um, I've been working on icons for, the, for all of the sets um, and they're all pretty much done. I have a few I need to finish off. But we've got everything in place for what we consider the core range, which is the nine sets of nine story cubes. The other burning question I'm guessing is what does this mean for Untold? As we were developing Untold, you know, we've been working on it for the last two years. Um, when this all came up, um, we were very quick to explain to Asmodee that you know this is our baby, um, we really want to make this game, but it should not be part of the purchase by Asmodee. Um, we felt it needed the kind of championing that we put into Story Cube's way back at the beginning because it's it's not your average game, it's a little bit different, and so they were completely on board with that. They're really excited about the game. The various partners around the world are really excited. So what it kind of means is that. There's probably a better chance of this getting out onto store shelves than it may have in the past. So here at the Creativity Hub, we're going ahead with publishing the game. The only slight difference is, which is kind of a weird twist on the story, is we're going to have to license back Rory Story Cubes for use in this game. Uh, that's the only change in the game that's going to happen. For those who know uh, my co-designer John Fiore, you know we're still the co-designers. Um, Creativity Hub is still publishing. Um, yeah, so you expect the same high quality and the same kind of you know small team uh, passionate approach that we've brought to Rory Story Cubes and the Extraordinaires. We're going to be bringing that to Untold. So the Creativity Hub then. I mean, the weird thing, we're kind of known as Roy Story Cubes, or we're known as being published by Game Ride in the US, um, but the Creativity Hub has always been there in the background. It started as, you know, essentially myself and Anita as creativity trainers, um, which is how Roy Story Cubes started its life as a creative thinking tool. Um, it grew in popularity, not just as a creative thinking tool, it was educational and also just a fun family game that was being played by multiple generations. And essentially, we kind of rode the wave of Rory Story Cubes. It grew in popularity. Um, we were bringing it out to more and more people, going to trade shows, visiting our and establishing distributors and partners all over the world, looking after the social media, developing the app. And we've essentially done that for the last 10 years. So what's kind of happening now is by Rory Story Cubes moving to Asmodee, it kind of frees us up to do what we really care about, which is developing new ideas and games that really get people to think differently. Um, you know, we were starting on that path at the beginning of the year, and this just accelerates that um, kind of process and that journey. So we already have a pipeline of new games in place, Untold being the first, um, Blank the Card Game being the second, both of which will be available to play at UK Games Expo, and then we'll be launching them at Essen. And you know we're hard at work on um, the games that we're planning for next year as well. And I think you should be really excited about them because the same kind of quirky passion and um, attention to detail and design that we've brought to Rory Story Cubes and to the Extraordinaires will be bringing to these games. So there'll be no kind of quality spared as we design these kind of playful experiences. So that essentially it kind of moves us from being known as Roy Story Cubes to really having to establish the Creativity Hub in its own right as an independent games publisher. Um, and we see that as a kind of a mighty task that but we think we're up for the challenge. And you know, we kind of hope that 
on the back of Untold, you'll continue to join us as we um, yeah, explore new ideas and try to kind of capture them like lightning into a playable game form as well. Before I go, I do have to say I've just been blown away by the reaction to um, Untold on Kickstarter. It's been quite scary kind of putting Untold out there for a wider audience and I'm really happy with the reaction to the print and play given that this isn't even the final version yet. You know, we're constantly tweaking and honing the play experience and every post that goes up about a playtest of Untold, we are watching, we're reading, you know, we're taking um, what we can from it in terms of, you know, where people are having problems and really trying to tighten up the gameplay experience. So. Thank you so much for supporting it and please continue to play and try the play test so that ultimately we all get the best possible version of Untold that we can all make. So that's it. Um, I think that covers everything. Um, if you've got any comments or questions, we will be around on you know, Twitter, um, on um, Kickstarter and uh, Facebook as well. If you have any questions, uh, we're more than happy to clarify anything we might have missed in this post.